I have a few things I want to talk about tonight. One is that it's technically September 2nd, but I'm going to pretend it's the first, and I'm going to try to make a video every day this month. Hopefully, the other ones will have makeup on, but you never know. Um, so, anyway, this is my video, because sorry, I've been neglecting this channel. Okay, second thing um, is how is it that I cannot use marijuana how is marijuana a criminal offense um marijuana i i have i got went to a pain management doctor and um i got a prescription for a narcotic but i only wanted a few tablets because i've been on narcotics long term and it, it affected my personality it made me sleepy all day i um didn't get the things done that i would like to get done every day um and it was just drying my liver and all kinds of other stuff so i don't want to be on narcotics long term but i asked for a few um to use when my ex-husband has the kids so i don't have to worry about waking up in the morning or being productive um the next day i just i can be lazy um but anyway it doesn't work as evidenced by tonight and the other two nights that i have taken it and every single time I've taken it, I've actually been up even later. It's like, I don't know. It's, I, I can't sleep even worse. So anyway, the one thing that I could do that doesn't destroy my liver, that doesn't leave me feeling groggy the next day, and that is not um, a physical addiction uh, or, you know, doesn't run the risk of overdose or, um, any kind of problems like that is marijuana but unfortunately for me I live in Oklahoma where it is illegal and um, I'm trying to get a job I'm also you know involved in I have custody of uh, like joint custody with my kids I don't want to you know do anything that might affect that um, so anyway, I can't use marijuana um, because even though it, if I was to use it, then it does help me sleep. I can go to sleep pretty, I can take like a few hits of marijuana and I would be sleepy. I can sleep through the night, wake up the next day and not feel like I'm hungover or just groggy or anything. I'm just fine. It's just like I didn't take anything. Plus, it works so fast. It works, like, pretty immediately, actually. It just, I mean, maybe for other people it doesn't make them sleepy, or there might be different strains that do, or whatever. But it makes me sleepy, and so, and it would help me sleep. It also relieves the spasticity. It helps my legs to not be spasming as much, and to not be in as much pain as they are, um pretty much all the other times. So, anyway, how is it a criminal offense? Like, isn't that unconstitutional? And I know I've read the stuff on why it's illegal and stuff, but, um, it still, it, it seems, um, wrong to me. It seems like it should be unconstitutional. I don't understand how, how a weed, a thing that grows naturally, um, and, and a thing that has proven health benefits and that has been proven not to be, you know, I, I stopped smoking on September 16th and I did not suffer any kinds of withdrawal or anything. I'm sure like mentally it would have been, I missed it every now and then, but it wasn't like a constant thought process or anything. There's no risk of physical dependency on it, it's just nice to have, especially because it makes me sleep, and I miss sleeping since I've stopped using it, then uh, there's been probably about 10 nights that I have um, been up completely all night just because of the pain and spasticity, and also just sometimes it's impossible to shut my brain down. So, anyway, the light just turned off, so I'm probably going to watch Netflix go to bed. Or try to just lay there in bed watching Netflix forever. Alright. Good night. Tell me, world, why it's unconstitutional. And if you're any lawyers, then 
I don't know, join me, rise up against the machine 